Hey there guys, welcome to another video, and you saw the Lutris video for, um, oh jeez, look, I'm missing all this, uh, for Guild Wars 2 and D9VK, and we're about to do a similar video, but for Windows. We have the game currently running right here, and as you can see, we have somewhat good performance. So, let's go get it done. So, the first thing you want to do is download a copy of D9VK. Last build was built six hours ago. So we're going to hit save. Do I already have this build? I do not. Perfect. We're going to go to the location. Oh, you're like this. Look how small my windows opens. We're going to go to the location where we're going to find the game in 64. That is just adorable that it opens that small. And we're going to click this. That's going to open on the other window, of course. And we have the 64-bit release. So we're going to copy this in here. Replace the file. You're not going to have it, of course. And I'm going to do the same. So there we go. I have everything just the way I need it. But you're going to have performance issues unless you open. All right. Let's do this again. View advanced system settings okay go into environmental variables you're going to add the hud we're only going to put a one because we want to make sure it works and then we're going to add none so how does this work you put dxvk underscore log underscore level and set it to none not to zero to none after that it's dxvk underscore hud set to one and that's it and then all you do is you open this up and you play. Easy peasy. Anyway, the reason why we use D9VK is if you want better performance. You're obviously going to get it. This thing is a beast. It's not just for Linux. It is also for Windows. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.